evidence for God, and time prophecies. According to scripture, a specific generation will witness the coming together of certain end time signs before Jesus returns. Sign 1, Rebirth of the Nation of Israel Though Israel was scattered to the four corners of the earth in 70 AD, God said that in the end times, I will bring them home to their own the land from the places where they have been scattered. And I will make them one nation in the land. Incredibly, on May 14, 1948, Israel became a nation. The fact that, for almost 2000 years, Israel did not assimilate completely into their surrounding societies and ceased to be a recognizable people group, and that the land never became a homeland for any other people group, can only be explained by a miracle. Sign 2. Blossoming of the Nation of Israel Though Israel was a barren wasteland when Israel returned to the land in 1948, Isaiah prophesied 2000 years ago, Israel will bud and blossom and fill the whole earth with fruit. Today, Israel is known as the fruit basket of Europe. She exports over $1,200 million worth of fresh produce each year. The fact that the vast desert wastelands, which would never produce for any other people group, are suddenly producing flowers and fruit when Israel moves back in is another miracle. Sign 3, Exponential Increase in Travel and Knowledge 2,500 years ago, Daniel prophesied, until the end times, when many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall increase. Until the early 20th century, the fastest mode of land-based transportation was a horse. Yet today, we can travel to the other side of the earth in a matter of hours. Millions and millions are running to and fro by car, train, plane, etc., just as Daniel prophesied. And all this would not be possible were it not for the dramatic increase in knowledge over the past century. Sign 4, 200 million man Chinese army. 2000 years ago, John prophesied regarding the Chinese army who comes against Israel in the end times, the number of mounted troops was 200 million. When John wrote Revelation, it would have been staggering to even attempt to imagine an army of that size. This was the approximate population of the world at that time. Yet, with a world population of 7.7 .7 billion today, it is possible for a coalition of countries to amass an army of 200 million. In fact, China claimed to have an army of 200 million in 1965. Sign 5, Exponential Increase in Natural Disasters 2000 years ago, when the disciples asked Jesus about the signs of the end times, he replied, and there will be famines, pestilences, and earthquakes in various places. All these are the beginning of birth pains, the metaphor of birth pains implies that these natural disasters will increase in both intensity and frequency in the end times, and that is exactly what is happening. Natural disasters have drastically escalated over the past 60 years. Sign 6, Exponential Increase in Wickedness and Violence Jesus said, as it was in the days of Noah, so will it be at the coming of the Son of Man. The days of Noah were characterized by unprecedented evil and violence. From the mass murder of millions of babies every year via abortion, to international terrorism, wickedness and violence has drastically escalated over the past 40 years. To show just how rapid it's become, consider this. The top public school discipline problems in the 1940s were, talking, chewing gum, making noise, running in the halls, getting out of turn in line, wearing improper clothing, and not putting paper in wastebaskets. Compare this to the 1980s. Drug abuse, alcohol abuse, pregnancy, suicide, rape, robbery, and assault. Sign 7, Homosexual Agenda Paraded. Jesus also said, and the world will be as it was in the days of Lot. The days of Lot were characterized by blatant and widespread homosexuality. Today, thousands trumpet their gay pride each year through countless marches, parades, and festivals. The prophet Isaiah said, they parade their sin around like Sodom, they don't even try to hide it. And homosexual marriage has been legalized in 30 countries since 2001. Sign 8, Global Communications 2000 years ago, John prophesied regarding the death of the two witnesses in the end times, for three and a half days, all peoples, tribes, languages, and nations will stare at their bodies. Today, with the advent of mass media and global satellite networks, allowing news to travel the world at the speed of light, this is literally possible for the first time in world history. Sign 9, 
cashless society and microchip implants. 2000 years ago, John prophesied that the Antichrist would control all commerce. The only way a person could control all of global commerce is by instituting some sort of cashless society. Today, with the advent of electronic funds transfer, electronic banking, and the widespread use of debit and credit cards, this is literally possible for the first time in world history. In fact, not only is a cashless society possible, it's inevitable. John also prophesied that people will buy and sell with a mark on their right hand or forehead. Today, a growing number of people are implanting RFID chips, the size of a grain of rice, into their hand. About 30,000 to 50,000 people have already been implanted, allowing them to make purchases, and even unlock doors, with the palm of their hand. Sign 10, Global Destruction Jesus also prophesied, and unless those days were shortened, no flesh would be saved. Consider that when Jesus made this prophecy the weapons of his day were swords and spears. But today, with the development and stockpiling of nuclear weapons and other weapons of mass destruction, it is possible to wipe out all flesh on planet Earth. And there are hundreds more end-time prophecies that have been fulfilled in our generation. All these are just another confirmation of the infallibility of God's Word, and the nearness of Christ's return.